Hi, I'm Rebecca M. Carroll, founding member of The Coaching Educator, and we are having a, a small and large series. Some of them are very short, some of them are long, all on how to fill out the FAFSA. So here we have, and this basically applies to students who are going off to college and either their parents do not make uh, a lot of money or they can't, uh, they have no contact with the parent, they've been in foster care, um, they have guardians that uh, have not fully adopted them. There are many, many reasons why you would be skipping the remaining financial questions because it really doesn't apply. So here we have parent tax filing. So it, we're assuming that this particular student, the parents were not gonna file in 2017. Maybe they didn't make enough. Um, so there are all kinds of reasons. They could have been ill um, or they could have been incarcerated. There are many different reasons why. So we put in the amount. So here you can assume that it is most likely because they didn't earn enough. And we put the numbers in that we know. So even if you're not filing or your parents aren't filing, you would still put the amount of money that your particular parent earned that year. So then they ask you, because you know their assets are, there's no assets, they don't own a home, or if they do have one home, they don't have a lot of other, um, they don't have an extra home, they don't have rental property, they don't have what's called a lot of assets. So. Do you want to skip the remaining questions about your you or your parents, about your parents' income and assets, and you would put yes. Now, I'll caution you, if your parents do make a certain amount of money, and we're talking, if your parents are making 65000 and up, you probably should say no to not skip and answer the questions, even if you're putting zeros.